there is a long list of things to adjust to when you move to Denmark. And we've been through almost all of them. One thing that would be a huge surprise to foreigners in Denmark, especially those who come from English-speaking countries, is the casual relationship that Danish people seem to have with the F-word. Which F-word? Well, not fantastisk, not fest, not even frelik, the rotating name for Danish kings. Yes, it's the F-bomb, the big one, the word that, love it or hate it, enriches not just the English language, but the Danish language too. So how did Danes come to love this English curse word? And what do English speakers who move to Denmark need to know in order to avoid the potential culture shock of hearing the casual F-bomb in their new Danish lives? Now, there are a few reasons why, and one of the first is that it's a great word. It can be a noun, like you stupid fork, a verb, like I want to fork you so bad, an adjective, like look at this forking guy, and even a phrasal word like fork up. The word is incredibly versatile and powerful to use. It's an enhancer, so it can really help to pep up your language. You can be mad, but if you're really mad, you might say that you're furious. And if you want to level that up, you can say, I am fucking furious. That wasn't that fun. You don't need to be Shakespeare to express the increasing level of your anger, and that's the magic of the word. The same logic applies to the Danish language, too. Another reason you hear Danes say this word is because the taboo words of foreign languages sort of lose their sharp edges when they're applied to new languages. There are Danish words and phrases that carry the same meaning, but a major cuss word like the F-bomb just doesn't mean the same thing to non-native English speakers. Now, I can relate because when I started learning Spanish in my American school, the first words I wanted to know were the curse words. Once I even got detention in high school for saying bandejo. Now, part of that word's fun is that it wasn't a bad word in my house growing up. It never had that guilt-inducing impact that some curse words might have, like an English equivalent of the word. The same is seen when Danish exchange students study in American high schools. Some of them find themselves in trouble for using a major curse word like the F-bomb in American schools, and maybe even on YouTube. So, it's a valuable word to spice up your language. It's not as taboo as the bad words in Danish, like fofen. And uh, this has led to the word becoming commonplace. It was widely introduced after World War II and its popularity has only grown and grown. This is especially true from a period of the 1990s onward. And these factors combine to make it really common to hear fuck sprinkled into Danish conversations, even in formal settings. I've heard it in job interviews, professional meetings, on morning radio, and in conversation with government employees. The, the list goes on and on. In America, these settings would be wholly inappropriate, but in Denmark, a casual F-bomb is no big deal. It can even be your first statement after winning an Olympic gold medal, like Danish sailor Anna-Marie Rindum. She placed first in 2020 at the Tokyo Olympics, and when she was interviewed by Day Air, the Danish broadcasting company, her first statement was, fuck, that is so cool. Sorry, I cursed. It was even printed with no issue at all because the word just doesn't carry the same weight that it does in the United States or other English-speaking countries. And Denmark isn't the only nation with a casual relationship to the F-word. The other Nordic countries really like the word, too. But what sets this region of the world apart? One reason is their consumption of English language media through sources like Nordic Netflix, HBO Nordic, and er, YouTube. I know what you're thinking, but Derek, that doesn't make any sense. Nordic countries aren't the only ones watching Game of Thrones and Stranger Things, so why the fuck do they say that word so much? And yes, <laughs> there's a major element that sets these countries apart. Now, the shows that they watch are often made using subtitles rather than dubbing. So hear me out. Countries like Spain have an audience of almost 50 million viewers, not counting the 500 million native Spanish speakers worldwide. For an audience of that size, companies like HBO and Netflix will gladly dub their biggest hits into Spanish, including all of the naughty words. Voice actors get hired and they deliver the same lines in Spanish to their audience that they would be hearing, uh, but that means that the curse words are the Spanish equivalent of the F-bomb instead of the original. And this isn't just Spanish. The same is true for other widely spoken languages. However, micro-languages like Danish, Finnish, Norwegian, etc. get treated a little bit differently. A lot of the Nordic language programming gets subtitles instead of full dubbing. Voice actors are expensive and the process can add time to a production, but subtitles can often be generated by AI technology and prove to be more cost effective for a company that's trying to deliver content to a smaller audience. Now, this is also an interesting reason why Danes and Nordic people at large become so proficient in English. 
It's kind of a side effect or a cause and effect outcome of being a subtitle country rather than a dubbing country. You're exposed to the English version of shows and movies that other people have dubbed into their home language, like French, Italian, or German. So Danes not only have a powerful and useful word that's less taboo in their culture and quite honestly is fucking fun to say, but on top of that, Danes and Nordic people are delivered the word more often than other Europeans and other global audiences. This doesn't mean that it's super polite to use, but any native English folks moving to Denmark should be prepared that this minor culture shock exists. But if you really want to know things that Danes will say to you that might seem rude but are actually totally harmless, watch this video right here to make sure that you take everything Danes say the right way. And thanks for watching everybody, I really fucking appreciate it. Hi hi.